It consists of the clutch housing, four small hex bolts, four spring gaskets, curved neck grease hatch, and the helical oil cup. Install clutch cover. Take the clutch housing assembly with the wide open hatch downward. Take the clutch handhold cover with the words upward, convex side facing the window on the housing and put it on the interface. Take four small hex bolts, four spring gaskets. After assembling, respectively install them through the hole on the handhold cover located initially. Screw down the four bolts. Install curved neck grease hatch. Take curved neck grease hatch. Install it onto the external screw at one side of the housing. After assembling the transmission, the curved hatch is downward. Curved neck grease hatch. Install it onto the external screw at the other side of the housing. Take the helical oil cup and install it onto the housing of the clutch. As for the two sharp sleeves of the clutch housing, use those which are pressed and machined before exiting factory. They should not be randomly disassembled and assembled. Assembling ends. It comprises of separate bearing set of the clutch, separate bearing of the clutch, separate yoke of the clutch, two fine tooth bolts, two jaw springs, 45 degree siphon plug, oil pipe assembly. Install the separate bearing of clutch. Put separate bearing set straight standing on the bench with its small length upward. Take out the separate bearing of the clutch with its flat section upward. Put it on the seat. Press or knock it to a proper position. Install separate yoke of the clutch and bearing return spring. Take the separate yoke of clutch. Make the round curve face against the protrusion on bearing seat. Make the curve of protrusion tangent with the protrusion on bearing seat. Take bearing return spring. Firstly, insert one end into the small hole of the yoke. Then put the right angle of bearing return spring in the hole of protrusion. Take the plug of 45 degree siphon. Set the rings on the top of jaw spring onto the end of screw thread of the plug of 45 degree siphon. Then screw them down into the screw hole on bearing set. Take oil pipe assembly, screw the fixing end into 45 degree siphon plug. Take fine tooth bolt, screw it into the screw thread hole of clutch separate yoke. Separate device of the clutch assembling ends. During operation, if defects on separate bearing of clutch were detected, you need to disassemble it and replace it as soon as possible. It consists of 18686 transmission housing, 6 double head bolts, cover for bottom PTO window, Gasket for cover of bottom PTO window, 8 bolts, 2 double head bolts, spring gasket, 2 nuts, 3 round magnets, 2 locating pins, flat bottom bolt, square groove comb plug, screw plug for monitoring oil surface, oil exporting plug. Take the six double head bolts which are used to connect the clutch housing. Baste sealing mucus onto the screw thread. The double head bolt has one end with fine tooth, the other with rough tooth. Put the rough tooth inward. Use a special tool or two nuts to screw tight the double bolts. Then install it into the screw thread hole at the front part of the transmission housing. 
with the same method. Install the two bolts which are used to suspending transmission into the screw thread hole at the top of the housing with spring gasket and a hex bolt. Install cover for bottom PTO window. Take the gasket and cover. Baste mucus on both sides of the gasket. Pull the gasket and the convex side of the cover against PTO window. Aiming at the screw thread holes. Take the hex bolt, gasket, spring gasket combination and screw it down onto the housing of transmission. Be careful about the location. The flat gasket is at front, the spring gasket is at back. Install the two flat bottom fastening bolts onto the bottom of transmission housing. Baste mucus and screw it down. Install the bolts. Baste sealing mucus onto the square groove comb plug. Screw plug for monitoring oil surface. Oil exporting plug. Then mount them into respective holes. Install the locating pin. Knock the two locating pin into the holes at the back of transmission housing. Knock the pins until their front sections are as high as the brim of housing. The cone shape end is facing backward. Paste the round magnets. Use AB mucus or something like that to paste the three round magnets onto the three round concaves. Clean the three concaves before pasting. Before the sealing mucus is dry, avoid turning and knocking the housing to prevent the magnets from dropping. Assembling ends. Sliding bushes of main shaft. Five adjusting gaskets, five spline gaskets, third speed gear of main shaft, stop ring, second speed gear of main shaft, first speed gear of main shaft, low speed gear of main shaft, reverse gear of main shaft, spring cylinder pin, hex key of main shaft, main shaft, take four stop rings, install them respectively into the stop ring grooves of those gears. Turn over the gears. Take spline gaskets for main shaft gears. Mount them into the spline holes of those gears. Take the main shaft. Make the spring pin hole aim at hatch on the pedestal. Mount main shaft onto the pedestal. If there is no special tools, two people needed. Take adjusting gaskets of main shaft gears with white remark. Mount it onto main shaft with the convex side upward until it moves to the third ring groove. Count from down to up. Rotate it by one tooth distance. Synchronize the inner and external spline grooves. Take the hex key. Push it upward through the key groove from the down end of main shaft. Take the sliding bush of main shaft Aim the white groove of spline hole at spring pin hole on the shaft. Mount it onto main shaft. Take adjusting gasket for main shaft gears with white remark on it. Make the convex side downward and mount it onto main shaft until it moves to the fourth ring groove. Count from down to up. Rotate it by one tooth distance. Synchronize the inner and external spline grooves. Take the low speed gear compounding of main shaft. Make the side with stop ring upward and mount it onto main shaft. When turn the gear compounding, don't let the spline gasket drop out. Take the first speed gear compounding of main shaft. Make the side with stop ring upward and mount it onto main shaft. Take an adjusting gasket with white mark on it, mount it onto the main shaft with the convex end upward. When it moves to the third ring groove,